Watch this. I command you to sink. I command you to float. Sink. <laughs> float. I could do this all day long. Why? Because I'm just squeezing the silly bottle here. There's water in the bottle, but there's also an eyedropper in here that has air and water inside. If it gets too heavy, that means that I squeeze and I push water up inside, compress the air. The eyedropper sinks, and when I let go, it floats. It's a toy called a Cartesian diver, named after a scientist called Rene Descartes. I'm going to show you how to make one of these, I think a cooler one, just using simple materials around the house, no need. For an eyedropper, you're going to need some paper clips and a bendy straw. That's it. So watch what you're going to do. You bend the straw over like this, and now you hold on to it, and the variable of this experiment is where you cut it. If you cut it down here, it's going to be pretty hard to squeeze. If you cut it up here, it's going to be just a little bit easier. You can make it even shorter. You can make multiple ones, but you're going to take a paper clip, and this is the tough part. You're going to take the paper clip and just kind of push it in here so it holds the two ends together, like that. Now, take a couple more paper clips and hook them on in here so it looks something like this, all right? This now will change the mass or how heavy it is. So look at this, if I put it in here, it should float. <gasps> no problem at all. All right, so now watch what happens. This goes into the bottle of water like this. Fill it to the top with water, right? So you don't want to have any air in there that you're squeezing. And now let's see if it works. When you squeeze, the air compresses, the water goes up in there. <gasps> and it sinks, and when you let go, it floats. What a simple science toy to make. And if you've been watching Science Minute over the years, you know anything worth doing, that's right, is worth overdoing. So why wouldn't you do all of these at the same time? Simple science toy to make, learning something about the properties of air and getting the kids off the screen as well. I'm Steve Spangler, and that's your Super Diving Science Minute.